front-facing air intake, the 4.5-liter engine was 1 to 3 decibels quieter at every RPM stop than the GM 5.0-liter engine. The new 4.5-liter engine we tested was a pleasure to drive and, according to tests, more fuel-efficient than the 5.0-liter. Mercury Marine has just introduced a new six-cylinder stern drive power plant that is focused on replacing the venerable 5.0-liter V8 small block. In the never-ending quest to shed weight and increase performance, Mercruisers started with a clean sheet design and have full control over its production. To help minimize engine noise heard by those on board, Mercury designers relocated the throttle body to the back of the engine, which we found helps a lot. It's called the Mercruiser 4.5. A six cylinder V3 with 4.5, 4,500 cubic centimeters capacity in each of the two cylinder banks. 250 horsepower potential, but soon there'll be a 200 horsepower version. It will substitute the 4.3 and 5 litre GM Motors car derivative. The engine was designed for boats, and you can tell it's lower and shorter, but it's perfectly compatible with the old installations, so it can be used to re engine old boats. As it was made to live on board, they studied how to simplify maintenance, taking into consideration that this is a different place to under the hood of a car. I think the technicians will be happy to find everything in reach. Boosters too. Look where the dipstick is for the oil level and the filter. Very easy to change it. They've studied noise levels in relation to the boat. It's not the average jet engine of a powerful American car. It's gravelly, but a little softer too. They've really worked hard to combat noise and vibrations. It's only natural that they've used the best anti-vibration support. Understandable that they've chosen a petrol pump that's more silent, but it's incredible too that they've even got to the point of designing a quieter oil sump. Who invented that? And then they've covered the engine so it cuts the mid to high frequencies, the ones that annoy us. They've chosen to design the engine like this because they had a very precise idea in mind, weight reduction, and they've succeeded. This new 250 horsepower weighs a good 62 kilos less than the V8, which is 260 horsepower. We're up to 3,000 revs, we're doing 21 knots, and petrol consumption is 23 litres an hour, which means 0.9 miles to the litre. I think I can say for a 250 horsepower, that's a record. But what will it do if we go even faster? 3,500 revs a minute and speed has increased. We're going 26 knots. Consumption is 28 litres an hour, so again, 0.9 miles to the litre. Absolutely excellent. The Mercury technicians, who love trying out their engines, and I can understand why, they say that the new stern boards are so trustworthy that they last up to twice as long as previous engines.